Hey everybody, I'm here to do my August book haul for you guys. I have 26 books here, so this will be a very long video. I kind of have them split up as to where I got them from. Let's start off with the bargain books. I finally returned some library books that I had renewed like three times and still had never read, so I finally needed to return them. I couldn't renew them anymore. And then I was kind of browsing in the used bookstore that they have there. And so, as you all know, I own book one in a series of unfortunate events, The Bad Beginning. I've owned this for a while now. It's a really cute series. You know, not my favorite, but something really quick to pick up when I just want to read a book really fast. So I kind of settled to knowing that it's not a book series that I would just pick up um, for full price at a bookstore. It was going to just be one that I was going to get as I saw them for really, really cheap somewhere. So, so to explain the first 12 books to you, um, I was in the library returning that and happened to see the entire series in the used bookstore there for a dollar fifty each. So of course I had to pick that up while I saw them like that and it was really cheap for all of them and they had the complete series there. So so we have book two, The Reptile Room, book three, The Wide Window, book four, The Miserable Mill, book five, The Austere Academy, book six, The Earsats Elevator, book seven, The Vile Village, book eight, The Hostile Hospital, book nine, The Carnivorous Carnival, book ten, The Slippery Slope, book eleven, The Grim Grotto, book twelve, The Penultimate Book 12, The Penultimate Peril. And finally, Book 13, The End. This one's probably in the worst condition of them all. It's got this, like, dent here. Um, other than that, they're all in really great condition. And, again, they were each $1.50. And I don't think I was ever going to find the entire series at such a low price. So I just had to pick that up immediately. So now I have the entire series to pick up at my leisure. And this is really heavy. So I'm going to put it down. The next seven books I got from Books A Million yesterday, and those are Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. I've been meaning to pick up one of his books. I almost got Slaughterhouse-Five because that's the most popular of his books, but this one, the premise in this one sounded so good, and it sounds really, really funny. Cannot wait to get to this. The next book I got from Books A Million is Ashes by Ilsa J. Black. This is the first book in a trilogy. The reason I picked this up is because I know that the third and final book is coming out this month. I believe it is called Monsters, I want to say. Post-apocalyptic thriller sounds really cool. And since the third and final book will come out soon, I can buy all of the books and kind of marathon read them here soon. So I went ahead and got the first one, though, but not going to start reading it till I get the other two. But yeah, so I got that one. The next book I got purely because of the cover. I think it looks really beautiful. And I think a few people have hauled this before, so that book is Indelible by Dawn McAlf. This is book one in the Twixt series. Sounds like it's going to be like a paranormal romance type book, but I really, really love this cover. It's very beautiful. And ever since I saw this cover, it's been a book that has really interested me, and so I finally saw it at the bookstore, so I decided to pick it up. So we will see. The next two books I'm going to show you I got out of the clearance section while I was at the bookstore. And the first one is In the Hand of the Goddess. This is book two in The Song of the Lioness by Tamora Pierce. I have book one and I have book four. So now I have two. So all I need is to get book three. I just happened to see it in the clearance section. And it is a book that I had been planning on getting off of Amazon very soon. So I was really glad to see this. So yeah, I went ahead and got that one. This next book I got from the clearance section doesn't sound like one that I would typically read, but it was only $3.99, and every time I see the cover of this book, I just think how beautiful the cover is, and even if I don't enjoy it, gonna sound weird, but it'll at least look really pretty on my shelf, and it was only four bucks. So that book is Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and and Soibun Vivian? Soibahan Vinny Vivian? Yeah, I, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Anyways, I really, really like this cover. The storyline... The storyline isn't something that I've really read before, but it does sound a little bit interesting, so we'll have to see. Um, hopefully I'll like it, because I really like the cover for the second book as well, and... 
so I kind of want to get that too, but yeah, so I got that one. The next two books here are new releases for this month, and the first one is All Our Yesterdays by Kristen Terrell. I've heard a lot of really good things about this. A lot of people have been reading this recently. All I know is something to do with time travel, so we will see if I agree with everybody. This next book is probably one of my most anticipated this month, and I've already started reading it because I needed to start it immediately. And that book is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. This is book two in the Throne of Glass series, and I have already started reading this. I am, I am four chapters in, so I'm not that far, but I just started it literally last night, really, really late, and it passed out before I could really get into it. So I will definitely be reading more of this today. And I have to say, I do really, really like the new covers a lot better than the old covers. And at least, at least, the spines do match. The spines do match, even for the old one. So pretty pleased with that, and I cannot wait to read this one. Ah! And then finally, the last seven books are all in the same series. And I told you guys when I found out about this that I was going to buy it immediately. And it finally came. And those books are the new U.S. covers for the Harry Potter series. This is the box set for it. It is so gorgeous, and I love that the spines all make a picture. Just the most fantastic looking box set I have to date, yes. And just the artwork is beautiful. Oh my god, look at that. And the individual books themselves are gorgeous as well. So let me show you those if I can get them out of this box set, because they are pretty jammed packed tight in there. Book one, The Sorcerer's Stone or The Philosopher's Stone, whichever one you want to call it. This is the cover for this one. So beautiful. And each book actually has artwork on the back as well. So this is the back of book one. Then we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And this is the back of this one. And they all also have quotes from the books. Book three, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And they all have that matte feeling, like that really soft cover. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This one's probably one of my favorite covers. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And then finally we have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. This is also another one of my favorite covers and probably my favorite back for the books. And then of course we have the box here. Um, the box is really cool too, actually. If you look closely, you can see all of the characters. So we have here on this side, we have McGonagall here. And then you can recognize Luna there. <laughs> and then we turn on this side and the back has Harry, Hermione, and Ron. And then we have Draco there, looking all angry at them. And then of course on this side we have Dumbledore and Hagrid. But yeah, just a really gorgeous box. It's a very sturdy box too, like very well made. So Sorry that was such a long video. If you stuck with me, that was all of them. I had to do the book haul before my September TBR because my September TBR has some of these books in them. I wanted to make sure that they were shown in my haul before my TBR. So, so I will be putting up my September TBR either today or possibly not till Friday. But I'm going to try and make it today. So, so if you have read any of these books or have any comments about the ones you've seen, please leave them down below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.